FIFA 23 is actually way more realistic than you think. Anthony can actually do his real life spin on the game. If we give the ball to him uh, right there, you can just uh, do the buttons and as you guys can see, he pulls it off. I really love when FIFA adds, you know, some nice features that happens in real life and it's a really cool thing. Um, so yeah, all you gotta do to do this is press the top triggers on the controller and there you go, the Anthony spin. And if you go over to game settings, I'll show you something really, really special. Because of the World Cup, uh, this year they've added some classic balls onto the game as well. As you guys can see, this is uh, this year's uh, ball. Uh, we can go a little bit further to the side here. We have the 2014 ball, which obviously was in Brazil. Uh, if we keep going, we have the iconic Jablani ball from 2010, which moved like no other ball has ever done before. And then we got many others as well. For example, the team guys from 2006. And it is just so cool to see this, uh, you know, design this football back in the game. Imagine a whole on long shot with this ball. I, I don't think that would be fair. I mean, if you are a big football fan, I think this could be a nice one for you guys to, you know, just go back and test out some of these uh, classics. I own a Jabulon in real life as well, which, uh, you know, is uh, very special to do even in 2022. So, uh, yeah, I cannot wait for a World Cup and it makes it cool that you can have this feature on FIFA 23. This year, they added the Women's Super Leagues in FIFA 23, which is a very nice addition. One of these players being Alicia Lehmann from Aston Villa. Let's see if we can score a banger. That's a pretty weak shot. As you can see, they've got the player faces and everything pretty much spot on. They even have, you know, details like tattoos and everything. So, uh, this is is massive for the Women's Super League. I don't know if you guys have played it, but if you haven't, I'd recommend to uh, maybe do a game with Aston Villa. They've added a couple of brand new late goal animations. If we score with Erling Haaland, you guys can see that it does his whole, you know, going absolutely crazy, which it did once actually for Dortmund. There's many new of these for different players, but some of them, of course, are unique to uh, to some, and Haaland has got a couple of uh, funny ones in there. So yeah, Haaland in FIFA 23 is just, it's just different man. This year they've actually added a lot of brand new cinematics before the games actually begin of the stadiums and the fans but some of the cinematics look more realistic on FIFA I would say than what they maybe do in real life. For example Chelsea's one. I mean look at that does that not look like something from you know real life? It's obviously not going to look this realistic for every single stadium but the Chelsea's one guys it's unbelievable. I mean look at this uh, this cutscene right here is, is unbelievable. It, it looks super realistic guys but no it's actually actually a game and yeah some of the stadiums they uh, they have this you know extra detail to it which is just unbelievable. There is brand new snow physics in FIFA 23. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's uh, put uh, the snow on and uh, we are going to be here in uh, Dortmund. And as you guys can see, this is yet again one of those examples um, of incredible pre-match cutscenes. But anyway, as you guys can see, the, the, the detail on the snow is uh, clearer, especially on next gen. And you can just take a look around the pitch. And uh, sometimes if you're running in the snow and you turn and stuff, you can see so much snow that's, you know, going off your boot and all of that. And if you look closely, you can actually see the snow falling on the pitch. Uh, I'm not too sure if you guys can see this on the video, but at least if you play next to your screen, it's going to be pretty easy to see. And as you guys can see, the, the snow is just, you know, hitting all different kind of places. This next one is a really cool new feature added into FIFA 23. If you do the C celebration with Ronaldo and listen carefully right now, listen to the crowd. That is pretty nice. So the whole stadium is going to be shouting the celebration as of course they do in real life. And this actually works on both uh, old gen and new gen. So that is a fair play to EA. But yeah, Ronaldo's celebration has indeed been updated. There's a lot of brand new haircuts you can have in FIFA 23. This is one of them. And just look at the way that the hair moves around. And it's going to look even cooler when you're on the football pitch. Um, now this is called the strand based hair. Which is exclusive to, of course, the next gen. Um, because this is how hairs, you know, would kind of look like on old gen. But then we have the new ones. So you can just tell the difference guys the way that it moves it is super super realistic and they've added a lot of them this year we can have a lot of uh, examples for example one hair for a you know bit of a shorter haircut same goes for facial hair guys if we go down here we can see that this one you know maybe looks like something from old gen but then we've got this and you can just see that you know the hair strands are, are, are just different. They look uh, 10,000 times better. So yeah, they've done a lot of 
of uh, great things to the player customizations. Only thing I hope that they add now is tattoos. This year you can actually decide how strict you want the referee to be. So they've added in something brand new called referee strictness. You've got the default one of course. Then you've got strict, very strict, very lenient and then you know just the lenient. So let me know what you guys think if you play a game with very strict. He is going to be blowing for absolutely everything. Sometimes during the games you're going to be seeing players actually slipping over or losing their grip. As you guys can see it can happen a lot uh, sometimes. For example if you've done a skill move it's sort of like an ankle breaker and there's a lot of different animations for this but let's just take a look at the Tolisa right there. Neymar you know tricks him and then he does not know what to do. He almost uh, falls over and that is pretty realistic. And as I said, depending on the situation, sometimes the players actually lose their control so much they keep running and then in the end they fall on the ground. I've talked a little bit about this one before but there's a brand new stadium in FIFA 23 which is the smallest stadium of all time in any FIFA game. It only holds 3,000 people and uh, yeah it is just very charming to play here and it's one of the best additions in my opinion. I really wish they can add more stadiums like this and right now we're gonna see Real Madrid against Barcelona. This insane match in this small stadium. I mean look at this guys you know imagine the ticket prices when there's only 3,000 seats. I mean, there's not even any uh, stands, uh, any seats behind the De Jong right there. This is absolutely unbelievable and you should definitely test out the game in this stadium, guys, because yeah, it is just something about it. Look at it. We're in the middle of some forest uh, somewhere and here we go. Full Real Madrid against Barcelona. La Liga match and everything. I wonder how they all ended up here. But yeah, as I said before, guys, it is just a special experience to play here. And one of the sides doesn't even have, as I said before, a stand. So there's not going to be anything except like a house. When you take a penalty, there is nothing. It, it's really nice, guys. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend to do a few games there. I also made a video about it a few days ago, which is called uh, playing a 1930s match in FIFA 23. So make sure you guys check it out. But yeah, this is one of my favorite new features. And I hope they add a lot more things like this. I'm not uh, sure how many people are aware of this one, but um, if you score a goal with Laporte on FIFA 23, you guys know that it does have a bit of a uh, weird celebration, but um, if you go over to the cameras, he is going to be pulling it off, which is uh, nicely added into the game, and um, yeah, as I said before, not too sure how many people knew about it, because you probably don't have this chance to score with Laporte too many times on the game. So Liverpool is the only team who actually has a new tunnel cutscene on FIFA 23. As you guys can see here, we can uh, see from inside of the stadium, which is awesome. And what they have to do is they need to add this for every single licensed stadium. Get it for Dortmund, get it for Manchester United. Every single stadium should be having their own tunnel cutscenes. As simple as that, no excuses. EA needs to get that done because right now I believe we only have Liverpool and yeah, I mean, not everybody is a fan of Liverpool. So let's take a look at the new celebration cutscenes when you have won a uh, cup, you know. And uh, before it used to be kind of, uh, you know, the same for every single kind of tournament. But um, I think there is a couple of small changes. I mean, there's a couple of new angles and stuff like that. But still, there is so much more, in my opinion, they uh, can do and should do as well with these celebrations. For example, even in the journey, they actually had this before where they show that the players got their Champions League medals and all that. There's no medals to be seen in these uh, celebration cutscenes, uh, at least. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's been pretty similar, I think, for quite a few years. Now, a new part of it is this right here. I think it's only on next gen, though. This sort of cinematic of, you know, going uh, through whole, uh, um, you know, the players here, the referees and uh, the whole podium, I suppose, in the middle of the pitch. But yeah, I mean, the, the, it's not too much to look at because it's still so same. They have to change it, at least add some medals. So let me know in the comment section down below your favorite thing from this video. And of course, uh, drop a like if you want to see another one of these with even more new things you can do and realistic things in FIFA 23. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around there. We are now over 600,000, so thank you so much for that. Really means a lot, guys. And uh, yeah, just, just keep the support up and I'll promise you to make a lot of videos. And so uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.